what is up guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are most welcome just hit the subscribe button because i love to have you here in my previous video i showed the process of cutting this dress and if you are yet to see it please refer to that video to see how i cut these pieces then come join me to sew i'll pin down both back pieces together and sew a straight seam down I'll put right sides of back and front pieces of main fabric together, going with my pins to secure, making sure to match up the notches. I'll take this to my machine, using a straight regular stitch, I'll sew close both sides leaving this armhole out. Do not sew close this armhole opening. I gave it a clean finish with my serger. Also I sewed down the center back. I'll repeat the same process on the lining piece. To attach the lining piece to the main fabric, I'll use my lining piece to turn the armhole for a clean finish. With wrong sides of my main fabric out and the right side of the lining piece out, I'll match up the underarm with right sides facing and pin down. I'll repeat for the other armhole, then I'll take this to my machine and sew around the pinned area. After sewing, I gave some snip around by cutting in through the seam allowance for a smooth turn. Make sure not to cut into the sewn seam, else you'll lose your stitch. I'll take out the right side and run a top stitch on the lining close to the seam to keep it from sticking out.
At this point, you should press the seam with an iron after adding pins or using a hand needle to baste it. Here, I opened up the center back seam and then went in with some pins to secure both lining and main dress. The lining was a little bigger than the main fabric because I didn't add the center seam to the lining. So I added some scanty pleat to fit in. I did it for both front and back, then sewed it with a basting stitch to keep together since I'll be adding some ruffles. I also cut a 1.5 by 6 inches piece to create two loops for the sides. Then sew down and turn it using any pointer or loop turner. I will finish up the end of the lining by running a rolled hem stitch. In my previous video where I showed how to cut this dress, I cut two long rectangular pieces of about 2 yards in different sizes, long enough to make the ruffles. Then take it to my machine and do a rolled hem to keep it perfect. Also sew the edge together. Here I'm sewing close each ruffle piece. These are the ruffles, clean finish with my serger. Don't mind the reflection from the sun. I sit directly by the window since I work mostly with natural light. At this point, I put both ruffle pieces together with short one up while matching up the seams and pin. After which I did a basting stitch round it to keep together. This is it now. This is the first layer and the second. I'll take this to my machine and do a basting stitch which is a temporary stitch just to keep them together since I'll be taking it out. I gave a notch at each center. I turned up the right side of the dress, slide it into the ruffle, or better said, I wore the ruffle on the dress, <laughs> placing the ruffle seams to the center back seam, meaning I matched up the seams and matched up the front notches.
I'll bait down both pin sides and get back. After basting, I give the bodies a trim to reduce the bulk. Just the bodies. I'll be using this 6mm elastic to create the guard rings, but first, I double fold the ruffle all round at about half an inch to create a case for the elastic. Of course, you should consider the size of your elastic and feeding pin while creating the case. I'll sew this round with a regular straight stitch leaving about 2 inches here where I can fit the elastic through. This is done for now. I'll set these aside and work on the ruffle down. On this last piece, I'll take it to my machine and with the longer stitch my machine can sew. I'll make a gathering stitch of two lines and also sew together the ruffle piece to create a seam. Before pulling to create the gathers, I took the measurement round the dress hem to know how full the gather should be. Here it will be at least 55 inches. You have to be extremely careful while pulling the gathering thread if you don't want to do the process again. To attach the ruffle to the dress, I put the dress in through the ruffle and pin down while matching up the seams, then sewed around. The ruffle is attached. I also took out all the visible basting stitch to give it a perfect finish. Time to fit in the elastic. To know the size of elastic needed, consider the total shoulder circumference round and subtract about 1 to 2 inches depending on how you like the fit. Here, I cut out the elastic at 39 inches and I'll stitch together at about an inch after fitting in. I'll be using this small safety pin to fit in the elastic. Here, I inserted it in through the opening and left while creating the elastic case. 
I pinned the other edge to keep it from getting lost in the case. After filling in the elastic, I stitched the edge and passed it into the opening. I created a belt for this dress and also attached the loop for the belt. Give it a fold, you can press it down with your iron, pin it down to secure. Then go ahead and make a go ahead and make a straight stitch. And then turn it over with your looper turner or whatever it is you can use to turn on looper. And then we'll get back. I already did this one. Finally, I did the hem of the ruffle down and this multi-styled maxi dress is ready. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up, leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below and until my next video, do have a beautiful weekend.